for a big, big fight. A big moment for two young Canadian men. As one of them will this be crowned Canadian champion after the fight. Remember, protect yourselves at all time. A title that's been held by some big names, here. Manny Montiel. This one's fine. Touch gloves now if you wish. Come on at the bell. Not the most circulated though, but a good indication of what we can be working with in the future. Let me tell you, it's a big, big moment for these and they're viewing it. This is as big as any fight for these guys. Their toughest chest yet, both men. John Michael Bianco. In short, I don't even know how to describe. Mirror Master-esque. Mirror you, Mask, yeah. If you know your uh, comic books, Mirror Master is a, a character that's covered in mirrors. So John Michael Bianco, there you go. I don't know my comic books. Shorts, if you will. Well, Sam Moses is easier to read. He's in the red trunks, trim with white. Moses out of the blue corner, Bianco out of the red corner. Good feel out round so far with John Michael Bianco landing a little jab. If I was to guess how this fight goes, I, I would suggest that Sam Moses will grow into this fight in the third, fourth round. And it's a good jab early on from him. We've just had two upsets there that we maybe did not forecast, Manny. This is certainly a fight where I could envision an upset. This and our main event are highly dangerous. Fights. If we can call it an upset when he went into a title fight like this. Yeah, absolutely. Two undefeated guys. It's clear three lines for most promoting Don Michael Bianco. I have high hopes for him. I've put him in a dangerous fight against King Moses here. NCC super middleweight Canadian title on the line here. John Michael Bianco and Sam Moses. As we're halfway through round one right now. Moses looking to put John Michael Bianco on the back foot. I think that's an interesting thing to take note of early on. They seem to be trading roles in the centre of the ring. It's a pretty even round so far. Got a minute left. That wouldn't be easy to pick a winner just yet. So it's obviously we're in round one here tonight, but technically this is round seven here. Two high profile amateur contests between the pair. John Michael Bianco winning both. Once in Toronto, once in Montreal, four years ago this very weekend. You know, uh, even as a commentator, I, I'm blessed to be calling this fight because when you look at what this title means, when you look at who's held it before, you know, the possibilities of what uh, Moses or Bianco could do in the future. You know, you've you've had former champions like uh, Quebec great Eric Luca, uh, Donna Stevenson, Jean Pascal, uh, David Lemieux, a, 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 a little more recent, but Adam Turpish, uh, Steve Frangic. It, it's for us Canadians anyway. It's a good indication of what these fighters can end up. Probably the one guy you left out was the last guy from BC, my good friend. Mark Wolno, who held the title at one point. So, good round, Manny. Very good round. Very tough round to score. I don't know how the judges will see that. Uh, Moses was active. You know, he wasn't shy. He wasn't gun shy at all. But I don't, I don't feel like there was any low moments for my, Michael Bianco either. So, I don't think that was enough for Moses to take that round in this, in this hometown. Of Bianco. This is an eight round affair. So Canadian title being eight rounds. This is usually a title you'll have for a fighter that's, uh, you know, hasn't reached the 10 or 15 fight level yet. But again, like I keep saying, a, a good indication of what we could hold for the future. Uh, both cats are very high on each of their prospects. So both are really interested in gaining that title. Big fight. Big second round to come. Both men surge to the centre of the ring. Oh, Michael Bianco jabbing well to the body. Switching it up too, he's making him guess where he's going to go with it first. Good strong legs on Moses, I'm noticing that. 
really good footwork, especially in the amateurs. Interesting thing about Moses, he's spent a lot of time down at the Romanza gym, down in Mexico, obviously Don Nacho Verestein. Fighters coming out of there like Daniel Zaragoza, Juan Manuel Marquez, one of my favourite fighters. But I think when he went down there, he, he gave up a lot of the footwork and, and focused on um, a more power-based style. A little Mexican style, a little more trading. But I, I think a blend of the pair of styles can serve him well tonight. He evades that one quite casually then from John Michael Bianco. As I say, I've been aware of Zan Moses from the amateurs in BC for a decade now, or close to, and I do expect him to warm up as this contest goes on. When asked for my keys to, to the victory for this fight, I, I for personally saw if Moses wanted to pull away with this fight. Nice little look put inside. He was going to need to start early and come hard. Fortunately, that first round was a bit more feeling out than I, I would have hoped for him. That might end up playing against him. I think both fighters expected such a period, despite knowing each other's styles. I want to see how much is, either man has improved. I've faced each other already in the amateurs, you know what I mean? I just figured it would get started a little quicker. Nonetheless, round two, the action's pretty good. The echo seems to be dictating a little bit more at the moment. Quiet moments. John Michael Bianco picks up the pace a little bit with a few jabs. Moses not in any real anguish with what's happening, but he's he may be getting a little too comfortable just defending. There he goes and mounts an attack of his own. He's still all there. He seems to he seems to want to lay down his own little plan here. He's looking for his opening. I often say, Manny, you know, sometimes you're not doing a lot, but you're making the other guy work so much mental pressure. Maybe that's not quite the case here. Bianco keeps switching styles. Moses is corner asking him to use his legs. The movement has slowed down. He is finding himself trapped in corners now all of a sudden. I feel like he'll get a second win. A round like this may be what he needs. Gets lots of good spot in BC. Nice work and show of respect again by pulling that shot. They're definitely professionals. Bianco taking his time before sitting down. No one's really pulling for air at the moment. Both guys are in extremely good shape. Of course, this fight brought to you by Ghost Drops. Make sure you check them out on Instagram. Once more tonight, obviously, folks, we are here on behalf of Three Lions Promotions, who so far have saved up value for money, in my opinion. Considering your options tonight, considering your options tonight, I think we did pretty good for ourselves. Of course, Canelo Alvarez. Mel Charlo in action tonight live from Las Vegas. Should be able to catch that after the Ryan Rodzicki fight. Nice little look up by Moses with Bianco. Look to the win. most significant punch of the fight so far. Nice way. Moses. A sneaky of, sweet pea action there. A little loosen up by Moses. King is not just a nickname, by the way, that's his actual middle name on his birth certificate. And he is desperate to be crowned Canadian champion tonight. Good job. Bianco stuffed it with a bit of left hand there. Nice right hand of his own. This would be the first title for either fighter, so you can understand wanting that hardware to, to prove to... The, the, the people that don't necessarily follow the sport all that much or don't understand it, but everyone understands what a title is. 100%. It's a massive achievement that neither one of them will let them take it away, you know, let you take it away from them should they win tonight. Come back after your punch. Looking for a bit of follow-up action from Moses in the corner. 
Oh my word! The Beautiful combination, beautiful double left hook. Send Samuel Finn Moses to the canvas here. Got caught, got caught, throws him up on the ropes. Well, he's in too much hate or what? All right. Referee doing him a favor here. Bianco looking to dig right back in. We have to survive him. And he does. And he does have an answer back on his own. The action picking up here. Save well to grab at this point. Oh. A bit of a shove, and Moses falls out of the ring, referee calls it a slip, we're going to get a break in the action here, things are heating up in Hammer. Big, 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 big round here, Liverpool following up the right hand, two punch combination, it seemed to put him on roller skates there, answer back, Bianco, looks like Bianco reacted to that shot, backed up a little bit, I think he's in a little bit of danger, Bianco. I don't know whether Moses knows it, though he's still recovering himself. Big uppercut again. This is a real Canadian title fight, Manny Montreal. Both men showing signs of fatigue already. Impactful round. Ten seconds. Big shot again by Moses. Big good work on the ropes. Bianco's in trouble. Moses senses it. Flying across the ring. In response to being knocked down and knocked down. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fight here tonight. Moses did not like that knockdown and had a point to oh, make. Felt offended. Felt highly offended. Did everything it could to try and win that round back. That's the kind of fight we want to be watching. If you're at home right now and you did not tell your friends, hurry up and dial, dial, dial. We told everybody about this fight. We told everybody. This is a big, big fight and it's only going to get better from this point. So we went from leaving this round thinking Bianco was going to take a break and, and come out strong in the next round. To now, both guys are, are starting to contemplate game plans. Bianco was in trouble at the end of that round. Moses was in trouble midway through. You know what? It was all about the response by Moses in a way, but Absolutely. that double left hook by John Michael Bianco was superb. Thing of beauty. Superb. Here we go, round four. Action picks up where we left it. Guys are right back to it. Tell you something, Manny. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna tell you something, people at home. You know, you and me, we know our boxing. I'm gonna tell you that right now. This is a big fight, and I am privileged to be here right now, sitting next to you, Manny Montreal. As am I. Pace slowing down a little bit. Both guys trying to figure each other out again. Again, the incoming fighter taking the sting out of the crowd here. It can be an effect, it can have an effect on you, but at the end of the day, it's just you two men in that ring. The crowd went from celebrating to worrying, real quick. Goes downstairs with good work, Sam Moses. Big shot by John Michael Bianco. Quick response from John Michael Bianco. Timing on him is just phenomenal. Big shot downstairs by Moses. Back and forth. This is what you would expect from a title fight between two prospects. Not fraudulent. Undefeated not for gaming. reasons. Undefeated fighters. for reasons. There's too many fighters out there that are walking around with undefeated records that have fought no one. Smart tactic that both men have utilized throughout this contest, by the way, leaning on each other. Big one too by Moses. The reality the is, the reality is one of these prospects is gonna walk away with a loss here and is gonna be facing a different type of career from here on in. The stakes are high. Only one man can be crowned, but it certainly take two, takes two to do that. And these two are giving us, giving us a real title fight here in Hamilton, Ontario. Moses definitely brought the fight back. The kids these days, Manny, they talk about that dog in them. Who's got that dog in them? Who's gonna go deeper tonight? Moses Still is corner. These guys are evenly matched as a good uppercut by John Michael Bianco scores. Moses' corner seems to think Bianco's done. I'm not quite sure. 
This is a grueling fight. 30 seconds left here. Four rounds flew by like nothing. Ooh, a little off balance there. That little left hook up and hook to the body, Moses up to go. Very similar matchup of the Romantic Gym. And this is for Moses. Good use of the arms by Moses, shifting his hand. Nice way, smothering himself a little bit here. Look at the tie him up and wrestle him a bit. Maybe get him off his feet, make him mess with his balance. Bianco sitting down now, whereas he was taking the round, taking his time to sit down originally. Ladies and gentlemen, big, big fight. We're going to round five. Second half of the Canadian title fight here. Eight rounds these days for Canadian title fights. You're a lot Moses of old heads will have a problem with that, but it is what it is. If you're Moses' corner, what are you, what are you telling him? You know what, just do more. Do more of what you're doing. And just watch that distance a little bit. Just find that range a bit more. You're getting a bit smothered. You're getting into hold him, which is doing well once he gets in there, shifting and moving his man. There was that knockdown, so like it or not, we do have a 10 9 round, a definitive 10 9 round. 10 8 round, 10 8, say. sorry, yes. Look, he's got to do, um, he's going to have to get something back, but I don't always think you got to go for it right away. Steady wear. You often find what you're looking for when you're not really looking for it. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Moses is corner, asking him to let his hands go. Nice right hand downstairs with John Michael switches for the moment. I always think when a fighter is predominantly orthodox switch to southward, that's when you should jump on him. Moses did. Wild with the right hand. Got really myself a little splattered. Little sweat off either Bianco or Moses. On his lovely jacket. No, I will say this. I find Moses stands kind of tall. He's got oh, he's got a weird, kind of awkward foot base where he'll try and come around on the corners on you a little too quick. Moses needs half a yard back. Okay. That's good way. Bit of an awkward style to mess with, too. Once he gets a rhythm, Moses, he's a really cool fighter to watch. I felt that for a long time. I do feel like both guys are starting to slow down a little bit. We find ourselves trading a little more. And they started get... with a frenetic pace, Manny. That's the thing. So we're now in the center of the ring. Both guys are trading a bit more. I'd like to see the referee be a bit more assertive. I think we've alluded to that a well, few the whole thing's not out of hand just yet. Big looping right hand from Moses landed there. Ooh, two piece from John Michael Bianco answering inside. Last 45 seconds of the round, Manny. Who are you, who are you giving the edge to in this one? Right now, it's still Bianco, but I wouldn't say he's in complete control. Moses is still right, giving short, him right hand, bouts of, and, and fits in there. So, ultimately, this is going to come down to conditioning. No matter what happens, no matter who wins this fight, both men will leave this ring more experienced, more equipped for the challenges that may lay ahead. Nice work from both men. And, and here's the thing, right? With the type of performance we've seen tonight, whoever ends up losing this contest isn't necessarily a, a, a wash with not somebody we can throw away because both guys are giving us tremendous performances right now. And he heads around. Six. Again, tempo slowed a little bit in that round. Not surprisingly. That was a big, big round where we saw the knockdown score. The response from Sam Moses 
phenomenal. Bianco's team seems really animate, animated over there, giving him advice. Sean I, I, in the corner, John Michael Bianco. Would you be Would you be pleased with his performance so far if you were in his corner? I think you have to be. I think you know this is going to be a tough fight. It's a Canadian title fight. It's not a walkover. Both men came here to win. Both men have different styles. It's who's going to be able to enforce that more. We've seen glimpses of Sam Moses gaining a rhythm and gaining some fluidity. With only a couple of rounds left here, what, what could we want from Bianco here? More of the same. He's obviously looking for a decisive punch. But just more of, more of the way. We're starting off quick in round six here. That left hook for Bianco is a... When he doubled up on it, I, I feel like if he just, he's just waiting for it, but I feel like if he doubles up on it again, we might get a repeat. Moses. Leering into Bianco's eyes. Bit with his mouth drawn open a bit. The lighting in the venue just changed ever so slightly. Oh. Moses looking to find a shot, but Bianco countering quite well. Seems to tabulate the rhythm of Moses. The lights got did get brighter. I'm not crazy. So. momentarily Bianco scoring downstairs with the backhand. That's the the creativity, the ability to be creative in boxing. Usually reserved for somebody who's a little quicker, a little slicker, and has a really deep understanding. You know, Bianco's only got five fights as a pro, but legitimately. Nice beautiful. Nice Bianco. Both men responding in time, just trading it, shots. This is why you call the jab the range finder though. You know, I think John Michael Bianco, I think that's what he's done different, done more of by going the jab. He knows his range more. As he said, that commentator's case, but some people in the crowd calling for finishing. I don't think he's ready just yet, Moses. Minute left in the round. Bianco a bit smaller, but doing the bullying. We did out of a moment where Moses was thrown out of the ring there as well. The son about his footing. He's not always, he's not always on both feet. Cause for him to. 30 seconds left, folks. A little too awkward six. slip or whatnot. Moses seems to have took this round off, whether that's by choice or the fact that Bianco simply been more committed to his plan. The pace did slow down a bit. We started off at a breakneck speed there. It's turning into a hot one here. Still competitive. After six rounds. I feel like Bianco's in the lead. Wouldn't say we can write off Moses just yet though. This is one of them fights right now where I believe we've had a lot of close rounds, but we may not have a close fight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bianco just needs to, to, to keep going with the same rhythm here. That Moses is at spells of superiority in the contest, but not enough. I think John Michael Bianco has been in control. He responded very well, but if you have to get knocked down in the round to, to, to begin performing, it's, it's not a good business model for, for prize fighting. Big two rounds here. Hamilton Convention Center, three lines promotions, bring you an NCC super middleweight Canadian title fight. Samuel Moses, with maybe not so much a mountain to climb, but a little bit of a hill to climb here against John Michael Bianco. A little uppercut from Bianco there. 
He's done the Q to wave. Both, both guys have been switching it up as far as punch election goes. Pretty creative in there. Moses looking for his opening. Fighting from the center of the ring for once. Bianco fighting off the ropes. Nice way downstairs by Sam Moses. It's Gets there Bianco in the corner, trying to keep him there. enough man in Montreal, I'm not so sure at this point. Not a gimme. Definitely not a gimme. It's gonna work for his bread. Oh, good left hook. Again, we have to spoke about the weight issue, Manny. This is the first time as a professional that Sam Moses has been forced to make the weight on the same day as the Ontario Commissioner. Do it quite different than many states and provinces across the US and Canada. I find it fairly archaic that we do it the same day way into the day of the big it, wave by John Michael Bianco. It would be fine if it was worldwide like that, but when you got fighters that are used to a certain system everywhere else, but except here, it's a bit of a, you know. Just being around fighters on a, on a, on a, on a fight weekend, you know there's nothing better than seeing a fighter Friday evening after they've eaten. The mood is much better. Well, I'll, I'll say this. By Moses. The ankle fires back once more. I don't, I don't think the weight cut drained Moses at all. His output's been fantastic. The, the rehydration is a big thing, but ultimately I think we're getting the, the same contest we would regardless. Got 30 seconds left here in round seven. This eight round affair. Caught him with a sloppy left hook there. Lined him up with yeah, the right hand there. Showing his quality right now. He really is. I don't know if it's sneaky uppercut. Sam Moses in big trouble here. On roller big skates. Big on the ropes. Put him in the corner. Put together. This fight's over. This fight's over. The stop is maybe a little premature. But I don't know. He was in a little bit of trouble. Sam Moses seems very upset with the stoppage. I don't know if I would have stopped it there. He maybe deserved a few more seconds. Maybe the experience. A bit more experience for me, I don't know. Well, a big win for John Michael Bianco. I guess we'll never know when the judges scored that. I hope Sam Moses is more sat down out of heartache than any serious physical condition at the moment. Fighters have safety and health is of the most important in these situations. Bianco, elated, proud of his performance. Here we go to the replay. Let's have a look at this stoppage. Couple quick jabs. That's that big right hand. That's what started it there. That was definitely the end. Honestly, I, I would like to see the end again. Here we go. That uppercut. Little uppercut on the inside again by John Michael Bianco. His shot selection was beautiful this fight. Always I don't is. know how much that that, that knockdown and here's the had an effect on, on Samuel. Put the punch the together. Round, the third round, whatever that was. He bounced back real well, but maybe the effects of it, he, he didn't seem to have the same zip. I'll say this, with the stoppage the way it is, put another two wins on Pig Moses. Run this back at a different level. 100%. Run it at on a 10 rounder. I mean, I think they could do it again, two, three months time, and they could get a different result. Maybe you know what? Who knows? On the night is very important. But John Michael Bianco showed his professionalism, showed his quality, showed his class. Sam Moses showed that he belongs at this level. I feel certainly in spots. It's a big night. Gary Friedman in fine fettle here again, and a lovely T-shirt. I share once more. Manny, I'm going to leave you in a moment to go and have a chance with the brand new Canadian Super Middle. So here's the end of the fire as we're watching the replay. Two, three, 
Two, three unanswered punches again. I'm not sure. I feel like we got robbed of a Doesn't different kind of finish. Sure, but look, what do we always say about these referees and these stoppages? One punch too soon, and you're, you've, you've messed up. One yeah. punch too late, though. And that is, it could be a severe mess up. We don't want to see that. It's like popcorn with the microwave. That one second will ruin it all. I don't like popcorn. <laughs> My wife loves it. But opposite to track, as they say. I'm a little busy. Your attention please before we make the announcement. We would like to bring Miss Chavalo into the ring. Son of two-time heavyweight champion. The pride of Canada. Mitch can please make his way into the ring. And now, ladies and gentlemen, how about a huge round of applause for both of these warriors for an unbelievable scrap between the two. The official time comes to you. Two minutes, 51 seconds. Round number seven. As our referee, Floyd Porter, puts a halt to this contest. To the winner by TKO. And he is now crowned the new Canadian.